Hello, this is Space Daily News with Julia. The Hubble Space Telescope has a primary mirror of 2.4 meters. The Nancy Grace Roman Telescope has one at 2.4 meters and the James Webb Space Telescope has a whopping 6.5 meter primary mirror. These are all fine and well to get the job done that they were designed for. But what if we could have even bigger mirrors? The larger the mirror, the more light is collected. This means that we can see farther back in time with bigger mirrors to observe star and galaxy formation, image exoplanets directly and to work out just what dark matter is. But the process for creating a mirror is involved and takes time. There is casting the mirror blank to get the basic shape. Then you have to tighten the glass by heating and slow cooling. Grinding the glass down and polishing it into its perfect shape comes next, followed by testing and coating the lens. This is not so bad for smaller lenses, but for bigger lenses it is a problem. Enter the idea for using fluids to create lenses in space that are 10 to 100 times bigger. And the time it would take to make them would be significantly less than the glass-based lens. FLUTE, or the Fluidic Telescope Experiment, is being carried out by Ames Research Center along with the Israeli Institute of Technology. Their goal is to make possible the fabrication of fluid lenses in space, that are not only bigger than their glass corner parts, but also just as high quality or better optically as making an Earth-based lens. In space, liquids eventually form a perfect spherical shape. In their first experiments, researchers used water as a medium to create fluid lenses. The polymers were injected into circular frames, submerged in water and then solidified, creating comparable or better lenses than using standard techniques. Next, the team took flight on two zero-g parabolic flights to further test the process. And again, they were able to make freestanding liquid lenses. Soon this experiment will be performed on the International Space Station by specialists of Axiom-1 mission Eton Stibe. There they will add the step of using either UV light or temperature to harden the liquids so that the lenses can be examined and tested by the researchers back at Ames on Earth. A successful experiment will be the first time an optical component is made in space. If it succeeds, this will be the start of a new way to build telescopes out in space. This would be a revolution in space-based manufacturing and the time needed to build one will be greatly reduced. This was Space Daily News with Julia. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.